Hello Reignite family. I'm not sure if you know, but there is a New South Wales state election happening right now as we speak. Of course, the results are not are not finished yet. It's not conclusive. However, it looks like it's going to be another Labor state a government. What does that mean? It means that every single state, including the federal government, is all Labor. So that's not great for freedoms, okay, because we all know what Labor are about. But this has really um, shown us something significant when it comes to the Liberal Party. They have an opportunity to make a decision. Clearly, whatever they are doing, which is towing some sort of line to try to appease all the minority groups and not appease their actual audience, it's not working. I don't know if you guys have read, and I'm going to put it in the description of the video, but the Liberal Party policies and what they believe in is actually incredible. If you read it word for word and you forget that it's the Liberal Party, you would think that it was a freedom-focused, friendly, a freedom-focused you know, focused party. They talk about inalienable rights. They talk about freedom of speech, religion, movement, and all these types of things. If you read that and you didn't know it was the Liberal Party, honestly, you would think that it was a minor party that actually gave a stuff about human rights. So there's only two conclusions here, and I'm going to put this on the record that either the Liberal Party are lost and they're, they're infiltrated by the leftists and they actually don't realise that they're getting far, further and further away from their actual supporter base, or two, they actually don't want to win. <laughs> what, what if the Liberal Party, and this is just a question, I don't know, obviously, what if the Liberal Party is somehow bought out by the same people that control the Labor Party? <laughs> I don't know exactly who that is. Maybe it's China. I don't know. It seems like Daniel Andrews is very, very highly influenced by China. What if the entire Labor Party is? I don't know. But why are the Liberal, parties, Liberal Party so easily just losing every single election and they're not changing their ways? It's like they're pretending to be opposition. I could be a better opposition than them. Well, the, the freedom movement is a better opposition than the Liberal Party, let's be honest. So my question to the Liberal parties are, if you actually want to win elections, go and read your actual beliefs again and tell your whole party to start actually speaking as if you believe in the beliefs that are on your website. And why don't you consult people like me and like other people that are, you know, some, that have some sort of influence within the freedom movement but because maybe maybe we're becoming the majority have you considered that now we have construction workers coming to this house to my parents house um, very regularly and every single one of them have been like us I went to the beautician and she was like us um, I've sold something on Facebook buy swap sell they were like us every single person I've met in the last couple of months that were randomly outside anywhere are like us Liberal Party, come on, read your beliefs and actually act as if you believe them, which is what the website says. And guess what? You might actually get somewhere. I would love to see the Liberal Party become conservative again. I'm not holding my breath. I think it's more likely that they're bought out and this whole illusion of a two-party system is just fake. And there isn't actually a two-party system at all. And it's just there as an illusion for the voter to think that they have a choice, but actually they don't have a choice. That's my gut feeling, but I would love to be wrong. And I would love to actually speak to some of these Liberal Party members who are confused about why they're losing all the time. And maybe if they consulted all different types of people from the community, they would actually learn. People that have, say, databases or followings, obviously those people, and there's people from both sides of politics that have followings, obviously they're saying something that is resonating with the people. Whatever the Liberal Party is doing is not resonating with the people. So when you keep doing the same thing and losing, what do you do? Hmm. Do you keep doing it or do you reflect inside yourself and figure out what the heck is going wrong? So Liberal parties, you're going wrong and you've just given this whole country over to Labor and it's your fault. It's absolutely your fault. You either don't want to do anything about it or you're completely stupid. And I, I don't know which one it is, but anyway, I'm going to leave that up to you. And uh, you lost fair and square because... Uh, You've totally lost touch of your beliefs. So I hope you get them back. Sorry, New South Wales. See you next time.